Well, student, yesterday we have seen the half summary of this poem. The collectors, and that is what uh, I have told you. This is the alien people, and uh, this people, the story of the alien, who is hosting the students to their house after miles of kilometers, miles and miles together walking to the fields. They don't find any place, and suddenly. Uh, on the far distance they find a small shed it looks like a garage it is uh, not like a house but they thought that there was a heavy rain was uh, made them to get drenched completely and they were shivering with a full of cold because the full of clothes are wet and somehow they wanted to take a shelter uh, with a teacher three teachers the students were going and these two are i told you the one they way they meet as an alien they are okay this is the two you can see uh, these are the real humans and these are the uh, looks like the humans and that is what the alien we have spoken and the second part we see they have reached to the house and now at the, i have reached to the saying that the students were confused of the seeing that uh, uh, say something different is going on because even these three teachers are uh, sitting there motionless without moving uh, uh, looks like a uh, uh, puppets okay hissing and and uh, clicking some things okay and simply like uh, sitting like a moments and they are wonder what happened to the teachers okay now let's see what happens okay but when finds the back door locked and there is no key and i told you they have uh, got frightened they wanted to escape from there and they wanted to see if their in doors are open can open and escape from that area from that house huh? looks like a house is not a really house this from the garage okay and there was a uh, alien place okay looks as if it appears to be real but it is not a real okay the same is true to the window also huh? window also closed huh? i want to open but there is no key for that also brown is a scientist and it is his sorry they are not able to break it open with mr hunts stick as a grass glass is like a steel even this is a eh, looking like a glass but is the heart like a steel with that stick which they had in their hand they could not break even that okay even as they decide to look for a way out through the front door Okay, now they said back door is locked. Okay, key is lost. Even the windows are locked, uh, closed, and uh, the, even the, to open that there is no key. Okay, let us escape from the front door. But they are coming back to the front door. Mr. Brown returns with the tray of a dreams. When they are coming back to the front door, now comes enters the Mr. Brown with the uh, tray in his hand with a drink. Okay, let's see what kind of a drink. The children confront her directly, straight away, in front of face to face, and ask her what she has done to their teachers. Now, who ask them? Okay, children ask directly to Mr. Brown, uh, what you have done to our teacher? They are simply sitting like a machines, like a puppets. Okay, without motion, without moving, hissing, making some sound. Hissing, hissing is the sound of a, a, a snake. No? When the snake wants to identify that he is there, that uh, snake is there, you see when you go to the closer, it make a small sound. Is no? showing that it is there. Okay. And clicking something on the this. This is the and they are asking, what you have done to our teacher? Let's see what happens. Further. So he refutes. Eh? Refutes the allegation that they have dragged the teacher okay and they are thinking uh, we have you are making a false uh, statement here there is an allegation false statement uh, you are giving a false statement uh, we have not done anything to your teacher what you are telling you are telling something strange to us okay let's see when the children ask her about the strange things in the cupboard even children are not keeping quiet they were asking if there is a cupboard there is a say strange things Cupboards are there fully empty. Uh, fridge is there, it is empty. What is this? What is happening here? Huh? What are you going to do? She tells them that Mr. Brown is a scientist 
and it is is electrical equipment and they say mr brown husband of our mrs brown he is a scientist and there is an instrument inside he says he says okay and electric equipments it is required for a scientist she gives it explanation that the door and the windows are burger proof okay this is the door even the robbers cannot enter into the door so that we have made it so strong huh? burglar robber okay that is us to proof okay waterproof we say no your glass is a uh, uh, waterproof in the mobile when you buy you say that your glass is a waterproof your glass is a uh, uh, corona glass that will not break okay and so thick so that they have made this roof that is a uh, uh, proof of a burglar they cannot break in that is called burglar to come break and get in so that is the words are used here okay so at this point tracy blurs out that the children have found the house and the inmates to the strange now they are little worried about they have found the inmates huh? they have made the relation with each other okay and inmates to be a strange people they want to make a relation with these people but they are very strange even as mrs brown takes offense okay pet confronts her and ask her to take them to the sitting room now she says okay you take us to the sitting room we are in the beginning where we are sitting okay mr brown mrs brown in response offers to get one of their teachers to where they are okay where they take them at last where there is a one of the teacher is sitting there sitting like hissing and clicking some code like a machine okay once again tracy and ron believes mrs brown and start blaming pet for unnecessarily scrubbing them okay and this student started blaming each other okay they blaming the pet why you want to disturb this mr brown okay we could have done many some many things without knowing them but mrs brown returns with mr brown instead of mr hunt and mr brown orders the children not to drink the juice okay now we come here mr han comes okay he does that don't drink don't drink the juice they refuse to do so prompted by pet okay and accepted by pet and glad and the way and try to escape from place okay they are sent fly across the kitchen by mr brown okay and suddenly they find themselves flying on the air who they are these two students okay when and and glen okay find themselves you know, flying in the kitchen room okay the children learn the truth one by one slowly they understood huh? this is something wrong here okay this is not a human being at all they are slowly by slowly understanding the truth about this okay when the children tell mr brown that they cannot be kidnapped as the police would look for them and they were telling now mr brown you cannot kidnap us because the uh, uh, police are searching in search of us okay mr brown tells them that they are aliens who have taken the human shape and the shelter that looked like a house would be converted to a space ship when they are ready to take off now this was looking like a house it was looking like a garage it was not a house at all but this was not a house it was not a garage this is a space ship ship okay if they start the button this will take us to the flight okay they are in the huh, space ship understood now understood why this glass cannot be broken open because it is completely eh, covered with the glass okay he adds that the children cannot anyway escape and if they were to drink the juice it would lessen the shock of the take off of the spaceship 
if you don't drink eh, you get panic you get frightened you get eh, because when the uh, spaceship is taking off eh, it's not like a flight like the round it goes it goes like this you know then you get a lot of shock eh? if you are a stunt eh? like a machine you are sitting without knowing just you know but there is the breath for you okay they are in the coma to say in other word eh? the stitches are in the coma okay they don't know what is happening eh? they can see but they can see what they are doing if it is telling like this when the eh? man was taken to the operation theater he was given the eh? injection okay Anastasia, Anastasia is the injection usually they give. You will be awake, okay, but the pain will be not there. Understood? And that part of your body will be dead on that time. After some time, you recover your senses and you know the what had happened to you. This is what the Jews want to, to make them to drowsy and eh? get. Eh? That is uh, what they wanted to give. So they are telling, don't drink it. Mr. Brown tells them that they are the aliens who have taken the human shape and shelter that looked like a house would be a converter to a spaceship, spaceship when they are ready to take off. He had that children cannot anyway escape and if they were to drink the juice, it would lessen the shock of the takeoff of the space skip, ship. He also tells out the sacred that children are collected for the sake of experiment and the scientific study. Why their children are taken now? They are for the uh, scientific study, for the experiment they wanted to make. Okay. But just then the presence of mind of a pet saves the children and their teachers. The presence of a, a pet. And remember, keep it this name properly. Who saves them is the pet. Presence of mind of a, this girl, pet. Children and the teacher. He had seen the equipment being stored in the cupboard and knew that the aliens needed it badly. Okay, what they want to do to the experiment? Huh? They want it this tool huh? which is there in the cupboard. And see, remember. So he stands at the cupboard with the walking stick held high, threatening, and tells the aliens that if they made any wrong move. He would smash the equipment in the cupboard. Okay. Now, if you make any wrong movement, eh, then I will smash this instrument which you have in the cupboard. Okay. He would smash the equipment in the cupboard. He takes the help of the vein in controlling the aliens. Now, who is the pet is taking the help of? When with the controlling this aliens too. Only there are two, not two aliens. Who are they? Mrs. Baum and Mrs. Brown, which is the two one. Okay. He asked when to be ready with the chair to destroy everything in the cupboard if the aliens destroy his order. Okay. If they are ready to disobey, to say disorder, then you take the chair and just break it. He makes Mr. Brown lead the teachers to the room where the children are and the dominated over Mrs. Brown and the learns how to open the back door. And now they teach the, the teacher how to open the back door. Okay. Once all experts win and he have escaped through the back door, he orders the aliens to go out of the other door and close it behind them. After they go out of the door, he runs out with the vein and escapes being abducted by the aliens without disturbing abduct okay thus pet has clarity of thought even in crisis and saves not only himself but also his friends and teachers hmm? the pet he had huh? the pet he had a huh? presence of mind okay and he thinks he thinks a lot of it and that is what helps them to save their life and the life of the teacher. After a while, the group is surprised to realize that it is a neither railing nor a foggy, and the sun is out. Huh? It is not a realize neither the raining 
nor it is a foggy not the not the cloud of the uh, water is manja foggy they say okay and now the sun is out and the slight dawn is saying like that okay the house itself is not there now they find the house is not there it is as if they had imagined their encounter with the aliens it becomes a, like a nightmare it is like a kanasu okay it is like a imaginary for them i told you it is a imaginary in the beginning okay there is a difference of opinion about reporting the matter some like they feel that nobody would believe them and even though they say the story and nobody will believe this is is the imaginary some like a uh, hunt feel that one matter should be reported especially since people have disappeared that is true the people have disappeared in from their eyes he feels that there should be a warning for everybody the play comes and i end even in the group of continuing the argue over the matter okay there is no possibility of arguing about this matter this aliens who met them on the way to the picnic where they reached to that house it looks like a house and somehow it disappears with this we finish the summary tomorrow i will read you the lesson and give you the question answers slowly see you soon for the next lesson